Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some little projects that I created with my new cutting dies from Mango Crafts. They are a website that's listed on AliExpress and they reached out to me and they sent me some amazing cutting dies and I did a few little projects with them um, in the past few days and I'm excited to share them with you. So um, we are going to start first with a quick little haul of the dies that they sent me. So they sent me four little sets and they sent me this little set right here which is the Mango Craft Laurel Border Metal Cutting Die which is basically like a rosette die. Um, so you guys know a lot of people like to make rosettes and this was actually really cool. Um, at first I was like oh my gosh like I don't even know how to work this or whatnot but you know once you kind of figure it out this is a really really good die and they all cut really nice which I like all the little itty bitty pieces that tend to sometimes stay stuck they literally just fall right off so the die itself is really good um, so it has again the little floral border um, die and then it also has this little like um, circle die that um, the middle cuts out hello and then it also cuts out like the a middle border and then an outer layer um, really cute and I'm gonna show you which one I did for this one so this is the little project that I created using this little die right here this is the actual floral uh, border die right here and again it's like a little rosette so basically you're gonna end up cutting two strips of these and then you're just gonna kind of glue them together to make Make one whole rosette I love it it is so cute and then I just did of course a fun Halloween theme and I added a bunch of like little decor to just kind of spice up my little card and I love it and then as you can see the black and white is the middle circle layer and then the yeah orange part is the outer floral layer so really cute um i did end up cutting the hello but i didn't end up using it um but you know that's always a good little option in case you ever need it um it's a good fun way to just add a little word in there but for me i thought the ghost was perfect i added some little enamels and a little banner and i love how this little card turned out super cute so the next little set is the Mango Sweetie Macaron uh, cutting dies. And you guys, I am so obsessed with this one. I love it. This one actually has a variety of different little die cuts. Um, it has a lot of cute little stuff. So let me show you guys. You know, at first die cuts can be very intimidating, um, especially if you don't really know how to like work them or what they're, you know, for. But it basically comes with a little birthday hat, just like that. And then you get the little macaroon. Look at how cute that is. And you get the little uh, borders that go, that are basically supposed to be the white part or the filling of the macaroon. And then you can add another layer to the top and the bottom as decor. So I'll show you guys how I did that. And then it comes with the little present. Um, so again, lots of layering here that you can do. And this is the little tag that I created using these three little dies. And I love it. So as you can see, I did my little hat. I did two different colors because I layered them. I added some cute little stars for embellishments. And then for my little present, I did three different colors and I layered all three different colors. So the green, the orange border, and then the purple, which is the inner layer. And then I added a pearl for the middle. And it is so cute. And then, of course, my little macaroon. And it is a Halloween theme. Of course, sticking to the same Halloween theme. So I have my little orange um, which is like supposed to be the top part of the macaroon and then you have the white filling and then you have the inside which is uh, just like the purple like little cruster the cookie part and I love it I added um, a little uh, eyelet I added some cute ribbon to tie in all the colors that I added and then I added a cute little quote card that says sweet because this is all kind of like sweet stuff um, and then I have my little ghost tag in the back um, and the tag itself I used um, also a metal die 
uh, tag uh, that I think I got from like AliExpress maybe a couple years ago and I love how this little tag turned out. Super cute and again that was using this little set right here. I love it. And this is a fun little way, you know, to um, decorate like a little birthday card or if you just want to put like a little tag in a birthday basket, that would be really cute too. Um, and then here's just an extra one that I ended up having. Um, it's a little birthday hat. So I just kind of put that there. All right. And then the next one is the Mango Craft Happy Birthday Cake Metal Cutting Dies. And this one was so much fun to do. Again, another fun Halloween theme. That's this little set right here. So you get two different little cakes. And um, actually you get one cake. And you get the little candles. But you can make, you know, a lot of different types of cakes depending how you want to decorate them. This is the little set right here and again this is the Mango Craft Happy Birthday Cake Metal Cutting Dies. Um, so I cut out two different little cakes and that's the fun part is that you can make a lot of different little designs with these. This is the back border and then this is the top layer of your cake and it also comes with the little die cut for the candles so you can cut out as many candles as you need and then it also has some other little stuff Stuff like little strawberries little cherries and some other cute little decor you know in case you want to decorate your cake with really I don't really use these um, I just ended up using the candle and the two cake toppers and this is the little Halloween card that I created with two Halloween themed cakes so I love it super cute very fun and festive again a nice fun little way to give a birthday card to someone who has um you know a birthday around the holidays whether it's halloween or christmas you can do christmas cakes you can do valentine's um theme cakes and then just you know do your decor according to that holiday um or just in general it's a fun die to have because you know we're always celebrating birthdays and cards are extremely popular to make so um, I thought this would be perfect and I love how this turned out. Um, I did use my scallop border metal cutting die and then I did layer it with my frame die as well. So again, you guys know I love to layer the layering look. It just makes it so much more prettier and so much more fun. Used a lot of 3D foam and I absolutely love how this turned out. Um, so here we have that and then lastly... Um, I created this little card right here. It is so cute, you guys. I love how it turned out. This is the Mango Craft Sweetie, um, what is it, cake cookie metal cutting die. So it has a lot of different little um, things. This one came with a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, but here we have it. So I created a larger card, and then I cut out a frame. And then with my dies, I made a two different little Halloween themed cupcakes. And with my um, permanent markers, I just, um, I did little polka dots, you know, so that they look like they're my little sprinkles. And I love it. It is so cute. I also used these little flowers. Um, there is a flower die in here and I decorated them and I just added a pearl in the middle. And then I added some more little base layers right here with a cute little word. And I added some washi to kind of just, I felt like it needed to finish off with something. So I thought the washi was a perfect tape, a perfect way to blend everything together. And I just love how this one turned out. But let me show you guys the dies for this little set right here. Again, this one comes with a lot of options. Um, I get really intimidated when it comes to working with a lot of little dies, but this one was so much fun. So you get, you know, the base of your cupcake, and then you can do different little cupcake um, holders. That's this bottom piece right here. Um, this would essentially be your cupcake liner. And then you have different little parts for the whipped cream or the... Um, yeah, basically like the, the whipped cream that you use. Um, that's really cute. So you have some that have like little sprinkles, some that have little dots. And then you have, of course, your little foam, whipping foam. You have some more little decorative pieces. You can use candles, the little lemon wedge. They have little strawberries. Um, so little hearts, little cookies, all kinds of fun little things that you can do. The possibilities are endless with this little die set right here. 
and again I you know as you can see I created a little theme I did all Halloween themed desserts and I absolutely love how they turned out so I hope you guys enjoyed these projects and I hope they gave you some inspiration and thank you to Mango Craft for sending me these amazing goodies I really really appreciate it they are amazing and I love how they cut so Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's video and want to see more, be sure you give it a thumbs up. Turn on your post notification bell button so that whenever I upload my videos, you don't miss out. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you decide to subscribe and join me. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.